Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm not cooking. Instead, I'm giving you a review of my new love. This is my Ninja Coffee Bar, AKA Ninja Specialty Coffee Maker, CM401. Let me tell you, it is absolutely incredible and I want to share with you why I love this coffee pot so much. I'm gonna give you 12 reasons that this is the coffee pot for you. I have to tell you, I actually gave away my Nespresso coffee maker to get this. I find this Ninja coffee bar to be a far superior coffee machine. It makes specialty coffees, it makes regular coffees, it makes iced coffees. I'm here to show you these 12 reasons why this machine is my new baby. I love this Ninja specialty coffee machine and I hope that you will love it too. Down below, you'll be given a link where you can purchase this coffee machine and stay tuned to find out these 12 reasons why this is the best coffee bar out there. Reason number one. First, let's turn on our pot. And then you have this dial here that allows you to choose from six different kinds and sizes of coffee, from a nine ounce to an 11 ounce. Here you have your travel size mugs, a regular size and an extra large. And then you have a half a pot of coffee and a full pot of coffee. So you can make six different sizes of coffee, which is absolutely amazing. Reason number two that you should buy this Ninja coffee bar. You are given these settings here for classic coffee and rich coffee. So after you put the dial on what size you want, you go down to your classic or your rich. Your classic is gonna give you a smooth, well-balanced flavor. Your rich cup of coffee is gonna give you a much more intense flavor and it's gonna stand up to cream and sugars and those sorts of things much better than your classic. So I like drinking regular black coffee. Now, I use both these settings. It just matters right first thing in the morning, I want a rich cup of coffee. Later in the day, if I want a cup, I'll switch over to classic. It's a little lighter for me. Number three is this handy dandy reservoir that comes up so easily it's so easy to hold on to. And if you see here, it tells you where to fill what size coffee you are. So up here is for a full pot, half pot, travel size, and down here for singles. So I love that this is a very easy watering reservoir. It's a nice lid. The whole thing can pop off too. And it's very easy to hold on to and get on and off the coffee maker. So this really helps with you know, mornings you're tired, you know, and the Ninja machine is just such a great machine. And so this is number three. Number four is the frother that is attached. Ninja made it really easy for you just to pull out this little bar. You put your coffee cup underneath, which either has hot or cold cream, and you just press this button here. And I'll, I go like this and move it up and down a bit and around. And it is spectacular. And let me tell you that whipping cream, heavy whipping cream, does not froth well warm. If you froth it cold, you're gonna get whipped cream pretty quick. So just make a note of that, that if you're a heavy whipping cream kind of person in your coffee, which sometimes I am, that you have to take note of that. The best I've found to froth is really 2%. Uh, it's able, since it doesn't have as much fat, it's able to just foam up a lot better than your half and half. But half and half does work also. And I will be giving you a demonstration of these at the end, or how to make some coffees at the end. Reason number five, you have options. You not only have your six choices here and your classic and rich, now you also, with this great machine, you can make your own iced coffee and it tastes so good. How the Ninja coffee maker works is it'll go through intense cycles is what they're kind of called. So you'll get a little coffee that comes out 
and then it stops because it's trying to really build that flavor in your machine and then a little more will come out and then it's trying to build more flavor so it's not just it's not the same getting an iced cup of coffee is not going to be the same as if you press the classic and the rich it actually is different and then number six if having iced coffee and all these six choices weren't enough you also have a specialty button now the specialty button allows you to get a four ounce cup of coffee that is super rich and super intense and is perfect for your cappuccinos, your lattes, your macchiatos. All those coffees that cost you a fortune you can now make with your Ninja Coffee Bar. It's so exciting. Number seven is our drip stop that is right here. Now when you have it over to the left, that means the coffee is going to come out. If you turn it to the right, then your coffee's gonna stop and it's gonna stay up here. And that's well, you know, works really well if you wanna take your full crap out and, you know, put it back in. So that's a nice feature also. Number eight is the heating element. Now the heating element only needs to be on when you're making a full cup of coffee. And it automatically goes on when you choose one of these settings over here, your half pot and your full pot. Now, what you can do is once it's done brewing, you can turn it off, which I love because I don't want my coffee being warm down here because then it burns. And I've never seen that before. So I love that the Ninja Specialty Coffee Maker allows you to turn that heating element off. I believe we're on number eight. Number eight is going to be your filter. Now, first and foremost, I love how this opens. Kind of all opens to the side. I just think that's cool. Number eight is you're given one of the mesh coffee filters, which I love. You're able to get more um, of the coffee's oils into your coffee instead of them sticking into the paper filters. But if you wanna use a paper filter, you just use it with this and just store this somewhere. No big deal. Number 10 is the sleek design of the craft. I love that this craft looks kind of like it's from the 1950s. I just think that's super cool. So with this carafe, it comes, it, it does have a lid that comes off, but the cool part is the lid stays on. That's just really for cleaning. The lid stays on and it has a hole in the center. And then it has this tube that comes down. So not to splash. I forgot to give you a con. I could only think of one reason that I didn't like this machine. And that's because I have man hands. And your hand really doesn't fit into this sleek design of a coffee pot. Is that a big deal? No. You buy a, you know, scrubber to scrub it out that costs under a dollar at the dollar store. No big deal. But, the, you know, I was trying to find one thing that, you know, one thing that I didn't like, and that's all I could come up with. And number 11 is your scooper that is right underneath your frother. Here's your frother. You have a scooper that just stays put. So you can easily pull it out. The best part about the scooper is that there's two sizes. And then right in here, and I know it's really hard to see, it tells you how, much, how many scoops to use for each size coffee over here. Now, the thing I found is that if I'm using a good high-end coffee like Starbucks or those sorts of things, that these amounts seem a little excessive and wasteful of my good pricey coffee. So for me, like a regular rich cup of coffee, I use two scoops. And here it tells you you can use three to four and that just seems like a bit much, but that's up for you to decide. When I'm making, I usually make a half pot of coffee if I'm using my carafe and I'll use two scoops of this. On here it says for a half pot, it says three to four, which is really strong coffee if you're using Starbucks and the higher brands. But I love the fact that it just fits on the side and it's not being fumbled around and your, you know, your kids put it away and it's now in a different drawer and whatever, you know, it stays right on the side. And number 12, last but not least, is waste. This does not use any of those pods or K-cups, none of that. That's what I didn't like about having an espresso machine. Not only were those um, pods very expensive, 
and they were wasteful to me. I know that you send them back and they recycle. Recycling uses energy too, right? So if I can not even recycle, that would be best. So this allows me to use regular coffee that costs less and also does not end up in landfills or does not have to have those pods recycled. So now, so now that you have the 12 reasons that this is such a great machine, I think we should make a couple of the different kinds of coffee so you can see how great this works. We are gonna start with iced coffee. So we have our, our glass full of ice and we're gonna set it right down on the heating element, which will not hurt it. And then I have my coffee, which this is Starbucks Sumatra, which is my new favorite coffee. I found I like Sumatra beans. All right, that's it. So we fill this up. We make sure our coffee or our water is full enough, which it is. And then we're going to turn this dial and we're gonna put it on an extra large because I want a good cup of coffee that you know has a little room for cream, but you know I don't want just this much coffee. So we're making an extra large and it'll come up to about here. So I am going to press over ice. I have it on extra large. Now we're gonna do over ice and we'll see what happens. One thing with the Ninja Coffee Bar, you have to be patient. Um, it takes a second or two to cycle on. And then this is gonna go through, like I had told you, three cycles, you hear it? This is gonna go through three cycles of putting coffee in here. And what it's doing is it's keeping the water up here so that it gets to be a rich, rich cup of coffee. So it's not letting it escape all at once. It looks delicious, smells wonderful. And so it's through one of its cycles. And you may think, oh, it's done. It's not, it'll beep when it's done. It's on its next cycle now. Or maybe this is the third and final cycle. I really wasn't paying attention. It smells so good. I'm gonna show you what it looks like frothing cold, heavy cream. And we're gonna put that on top here. Oh, that's gonna be tasty. So we pour some cream in all while our coffee is being made. Then we're gonna dollop our whipped cream on top. Oh wow, look at that. Can you see that, how it, beautiful it is getting all combined? It's perfect. Now we're gonna make a regular cup of coffee. My husband, when I gave that to him, he was like, oh man, that looks good. He normally just puts the heavy cream in his coffee and doesn't froth it. So he was quite impressed that he had a little extra treat of having frothed heavy cream. So let's get going on this one. We're gonna open up our machine and we're making just a regular hot cup, one cup. I use two scoops for this one also. And then bonus, look at this. This little thing, that's like should be number 13, right? Of why this is so cool. So you don't have to put a regular smaller cup of coffee down here where you're gonna get splatter. You have this to put down and now your coffee won't splatter. So we're gonna set our coffee to a regular or smallest cup. And let's do classic for this one. I'm gonna click the classic button and away our coffee is going to be made. You guys, this Ninja Coffee Bar is spectacular, spectacular. If you want this exact one, it's model number CM401. So the actual term is Ninja Specialty Coffee Maker, CM401. Do, 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 do. Here's where in the morning I would usually do a few dishes. Um, oh, but you know what I can do? There's still some heavy cream in here. Mm. Oh man. <laughs> heavy cream is the best. 
It's like uh, ice cream with no sugar. Mm. I love heavy cream. And if you've never had heavy cream, like straight from a farm that hasn't been pasteurized, ooh la la, is it good. And let's wait for that beat. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. It's gonna tell us when it's done. But I usually don't wait for it, I'll be honest. I take it and so what if a few drops are at the bottom? And a beep. <gasps> now it's done. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for You. Cheers. Mm. It makes such a good cup of coffee. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and support me by subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, and I would love for you to watch more of my videos. I know this is a review of my beautiful baby here but let me tell you I have so many cooking videos out there and I would love for you to watch some of them and learn how to cook different styles of food and the recipes aren't hard either I also have a lot of things to bake so please check out my channel and I would love to hear from you too with a thumbs up or a comment I hope you have a great day